Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete tutorial on the Gusto payroll software. Gusto is one of the best and most affordable payment roll softwares on the market and in this video I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get started with Gusto today. So the first thing that you want to do is click on the top link in the description of this video and it's going to take you over to this area right here. It's first of all going to ask us a few questions so that we can go through and set up the Gusto account. So first of all, how many employees do you have? You can enter that in right here. Then how do you currently run payroll? How would you describe your business setting? And then once all of that is entered, we can click on submit. Then in this section, we want to enter in some information like the first and last name, company email, and all of this information right here. Once all of that has been entered, we can click on create account and then it's going to send us an email so that we can confirm this account. So just head over to the email that you signed up with and as you can see I have an email right here that says verify your email address. So we can click on this verify button and it's now going to load us into Gusto with this lovely animation right here. So now we want to create the company profile. First of all telling them a little bit about the team. So who is your company planning to pay? You can choose between yourself, domestic employees, international employees, domestic contractors or international contractors. So I'm just going to go for domestic employees, but you can go for any of these. I know if you select international, it's going to ask what countries do you need to pay international employees in? So you can fill that in. How do you currently run payroll? You can select this option. Then we can go through this. On this next screen, we can then add in a mailing address. So this is in case they need to send mail for tax purposes. Enter that in right there. Then on this next screen, you want to tell them if you're registered with the IRS. So if you are, it's then going to ask if you have a company bank account, if you already hired employees, a few questions like this. So just fill that in right there. Then we can go continue. Then we need to share some federal tax information. So federal EIN and then the business entity type. So you can choose from any of these options right here. Enter in the EIN. And then on the next screen, it's going to ask if you have an accountant or bookkeeper. And if you do, you can add them to your Gusto account. Now, as it says here, they'll be able to access key info, setting up accounting integration and help you run payroll. So if you say yes right here, it's then going to ask for their information. If you don't, obviously it's not going to ask for any information. So just keep that in mind. And if you do have a bookkeeper or an accountant, I would recommend adding them in right here. Then going to ask about health benefits. So is your company interested in offering health benefits? So we can put that in or not. And then this is super important. We need to schedule the first Gusto payday. So today is the 1st of May. Let's just set this up for next month and then we can click continue. And then we are going to be taken over to this area, but we are now inside of Gusto. So we now have the main majority of information set up, but right here, it's then going to show us the payroll setup timeline. It's going to ask for some more company details so you can go in there and add these. But then this is super important. We want to add in team members. So if we click on start right here, we want to add in team members that we are going to be paying using Gusto. So we can choose whether we want to add in one employee at a time or multiple employees. I'm just going to add one employee right here to walk you through the process. We can then enter in their name, the start date. So let's say this person started working for us um, here, 15th of December, 2021. Then we can choose the department they are in. So let's create a new department and say this person is in marketing. Then we can choose managers as well. So if we wanted to create a manager here, we would maybe put in like manager in the department name. But essentially the managers right here can approve hours and time off. So this is going to save you a lot of time, but is only really relevant if you have a company with managers. So you can add that in right there. And then all you would do is basically enter in the name of the manager and select them right here once you have them added. Then we can also choose the work address. So let's say this person works from home and this is in Florida. Whoops, that's Delaware. So then we can go down here and let's say this is, so this is the head of marketing. Add that in as a job. Employee type. So you can choose from all of these different options right here. So salary and eligible for overtime. Then we can enter in their salary right here. So let's say this is 75,000 per year. Default hours pay period. So 
Basically, they're going to assume, or Gusto are going to assume, that your employees are working 40 hours per week. But if they are working like 35, you would just enter that in right there. Then we have special tax exemption. As it says right here, this is not common. But if they're basically any of these, then you can enter that in. And then we can click save and continue. Oh, so we need to enter their personal email. Okay, save and continue. And then it's going to take us through to the document area. And basically what this is going to do is Gusto is going to send them these documents. So a tax form and a direct deposit authorization. And it's going to send them to the employee to fill in. So all we have to do is click continue. Then we can do this. And just like that, we now have the employee. So if we now go back to the timeline and into people and team members. Um, so they are onboarding right now. That's why they didn't show up right there. And it's because this person hasn't accepted this. But essentially what will happen is your team member is going to get an email that looks like this. So it will say your company name, users Gusto to pay your team. Let's get you set up. And then all they have to do is go down to complete onboarding. They can then fill in the information that it's asking for and they will be moved from onboarding over to active. So let's now go into the rest of the tools. We've now added some team members. Another thing that we can do is set up payroll right here. So let's do this right now. So right here, this is where we can set up the pay schedule for all employees. So right now, this is set by default to twice per month. And then the pay days are shown right here. We can also see the first pay date is going to be on the 15th of next month. But if we do want to edit this, we can go into edit pay schedule. So let's say I actually want to pay my employees monthly. We can enter that in right there. And then we can choose the day of the month. So if this is like the 30th, or we can even set this to the last day of the month, probably easier. And then the first pay date will set to the 31st of this month. So let's click on save now. And as you can see, that's going to change. And it's also going to show us the calendar right here. What you will notice is we also have a deadline to run payroll. So this is what we need to do on our end. Basically, if we are playing, if we are paying our employees, we have up to two days before to actually submit this payroll. So let's click save and continue. So in here, it says share your state tax details. So basically, when your employees come in, with each of them being in different states, they will have different taxes and things like this. So basically, once they have fully onboarded, you can go in here and set all of this up. Uh, but let's just leave this for now. We can then go down to R&D tax credit. This is where you can get money back from the IRS. And basically, this is something really cool that Gusto handles for you. So essentially, as they say right here, Gusto claims on average $50,000 in credits for each company we work with. Pricing is simple. You pay 15% of the tax credits we find. If we don't find any, you pay $0. So you can basically find out if you qualify by going to this survey right here, and then you can set this up. Then verify bank account. This is where you can link up the bank account that you are going to be paying your payroll from. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. And then down here, we have some workers comp policy. So does your company already have a workers compensation policy? Let's say no. And then you can set up a new policy right here. So that is how you can add the payroll and the team. And then once you have everything set up in the back end, so everything that we just covered right there, all you have to do every month is go over to payroll right here, click into run payroll, and then it's literally going to take you a couple of minutes just to go in and filter through this and sort this out. So that's the payroll right there. You can also pay contractors. So we can add contractors into Gusto and pay them in this area. We can also take a look at all of our expenses right here. So your employees can submit expenses right into Gusto. So that's a pretty cool feature right there. Then we can go down to payroll history and see an entire history of all of the different payrolls that we have sent. And then we do have a few other things like company documents, report where we can go in and take a look at all of these reports but i want to keep this tutorial nice and simple so that is how you can set up gusto as a complete beginner if you found this video valuable don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button and until next time take it easy